Okay, so a lot of our viewers asked for a video of Beaver Falls. And uh, briefly, I want to show you what's going on right here. To start the video off, there is a uh, construction going on here of a new sheets. I don't know if you can see it too well. The sun is really affecting this camera this evening for this video. It's a beautiful autumn day in Beaver County. And uh, I wanted to make a video this evening of Beaver Falls. So here we are. Beaver Falls is a very diverse town. And I don't mean that in a sense of races and cultures. I mean that in a sense of industry, commerce, and business. Beaver Falls is not only the heart of the Rust Belt part of Beaver County, like its sisters, you know, Ambridge and Aliquippa and Midland and Rochester and those kinds of places, but Beaver Falls is even more of an industry heartbeat of Beaver County. It has still, it has glass, it has, oh, there's the Beaver Falls Coffee and Tea Company. It's a wonderful place. You need to check it out whenever you get here. And here's the new Bagpiper Theater, sponsored by Geneva College. Uh, Beaver Falls has so many industries at one time. It had steel, it had textiles, it had its own brewery, which was Wagner Brewery, which was on Bridge Street, I believe. It had a glass factory. It had a ceramic factory. It had fur and numerous furniture companies. And, of course, it had Mayor China, which I'm going to, uh, when we get down to the end here, we are going to take a little tour of Mayor China, which was famous for its chinaware. And there's the Falston Bridge ahead. Can you see that? Here is the stadium where Beaver Falls Tigers play. There's the practice field. Here's a Papa John's here. So yes, Beaver Falls, more so than any town in Beaver County, has a tremendous diversity in industry. And of course, in the 1870s, it was home to the Chinatown. The Chinese immigrants that came here had a major impact on the development of this town. And it's also the home of Joe Namath. We all know who Joe Namath is, right? And it was also the scene for the comedy sitcom of uh, Mr. Belvedere. Does anybody remember that back in the 80s? Well, yeah, it was... I'm not certain where, but... That also took place here in Beaver Falls. What a pleasant evening. I cannot tell you how nice it is to make a video tonight. It's a beautiful autumn evening. And there's Giles Town and Country Store. Still here. Here's a bar. There's the market right there. See the sign? All right. Here you have it. The heart of Rust Belt. This is home, ladies and gentlemen. It can't. It doesn't get any more blue collar than this in Beaver County. Let me tell you. I love the still towns. I like it, making videos of the still towns. I love preserving the history of the still towns. Because. Every scene that you see in this video is significant because one day what you're looking at on this video is not going to be here no more, including these homes, these stores, these businesses, these buildings will all be gone one day. And so when people ask me, well, why do you waste your time making videos? Well, that's why, to preserve what we have for future generations. And here's the abandoned Dairy Queen. That was a nice Dairy Queen. We're coming up on Beaver Falls High School. As you can see it here, coming right up on it. I'm going to pull over and do some zoom in it. I'm not going to go into the stool, but I am going to uh, get some shots for the people who haven't seen the high school in a while. So don't worry, I am going to go and try to get a good view of the place here for you. Just let me get in here real quick. I have people behind me, so I don't want to distract them in any way. Try to be safe. And that sun is really powerful. I do apologize for it. I know you can see it. But that is the school. 
Apparently they're having practice down at the field there, which is really cool. We are also going to come up on the uh, junior high, too. The junior high is right up the road. There's your sign, ladies and gentlemen. Beaver Falls High School. Okay? And then I'll take a drive back track through downtown. I am going to cut off though at the beginning and then I'll get back on it. There's your junior high. Beaver Falls Middle School. There it is. This is a nice little uh, road here in Beaver Falls. It really is. There's the right aid. There's the Beaver Falls Municipal Authorities right there. Okay. Let us turn by the Campbell Funeral Home right here and let's go into town. And let's see what we can establish here with some of the businesses that are long gone. Some of the businesses you may remember. Campbell Funeral Home is still there in operation. There's the Tiger Paws Furniture Bank right here on the corner. Now we're getting on to... Here's Jay's News. You see the close-up of Jay's News there? Yeah. Followed by Orm's Donuts. You see that? That's very famous in Beaver County. How long has that been there? Since the 1940s. It's been in operation. It's one of the most famous donut places in this part of Pennsylvania. So let's go. Here we are. There's the library. Sounds like we're in New York City. It's so low. Main drag. Check this out, huh? Valley Travel Agency. Some of the old businesses are still in operation. Some of them are not. Most of them are not. Falls even had its own gas company at one time. I'm going to set up a, I'm going to compose a list of the stores and shops and businesses, some of them in the write-up of this video. And you can, I hope that it will uh, encourage you to do more research on your own about it. Bosman, the Reverend Bosman, who is infamous for his early work over a hundred and some years ago in the history of Beaver County, mentions a lot of the businesses that I will mention in the writing. And uh, hopefully it will motivate you to do your own research just to show you how diverse of an industrial town Beaver Falls was. Now we're coming up on the end here on the drag. We're going to turn over there by the Beaver County Fruit Market. The Harley Davidson shop, for you folks who know that, that is still in operation. We're going to turn here. Beaver Valley Fruit and Garden Place. And we're going to step out of the car maybe and show you the remnants of uh, Mayor China. And yes, that is still in operation. It's one of the good delis here in Beaver County. And here's the Beaver County Home for the Blind. That is still in operation too. Beaver Falls has taken a hit just like the other still towns have. A lot of the wonderful places of business are no longer in operation. And look at this old sign here that you see. Does anybody know this one? Auto Cell Construction Specials, 10 Mile. I don't know. It's an old business. I don't think it's an operation anymore. It's an old sign. But let us go down. There's some of the remnants of the old mills back here. Let's go down to Mare China. Let's take a little, I'll give you one tour I can of it. According to Bosman, it employed 175 people at around the turn of the century. So. 
what I'm going to show you here is all that's left. And this is it. This is Mayor China. I'll show you I'm not BSing you. There's the Okay. That's the main entrance. There's a door right there. Mayor China. It's pretty defunct now. A lot of the female early employees in Beaver County took jobs here painting the china ware. There's also a local legend that some of the china that was produced in this establishment here was on the Titanic. I don't know how true it is. It's just a, probably a wise tale, but here I'm showing you what I can of it. It's pretty locked up and you can't get back here. Okay, so let's go. the old Honda dealers. I'll give you a close-up of some of the stuff here that's still in place here in Beaver Falls. Pardon me while I get myself situated so I can continue the video. All right. I have to put my seatbelt on because if I don't, it's going to make noise. Take a drive here on 2nd Avenue, and we'll get back up on the main drag here shortly. Show you another part of the town here. Beaver Falls is pretty spread out, so I can't obviously lecture about it. The entire history that this town has to offer and show you all the sites that there is in a 15 to 20 minute video. But I try to squeeze in as much as I possibly can. And of course, Beaver Falls, like Aliquippa and a few other places in Beaver County. Sorry about that. It has a wonderful football tradition. And we don't want to forget about the Beaver Falls Tigers. And they're actually pretty good this year. So far. Let's hope it keeps up. There's another establishment. Yeah. A lot of old buildings are still left here in Beaver County that are still in the Beaver County towns. I don't mean just here in Beaver Falls. There's the architecture, it's amazing that they're so much the same especially in these in the industrial towns because they were all made the same same architecture if you didn't know any better and i just showed you pictures unless you really knew you, you could be looking at any town oh that sun's really intense i know it's on camera i do apologize for it being so in your eyes if you're trying to watch this video Just go through the rest of the town until we get to the end here, back up to Geneva College. I just wanted to give you a brief tour of the Farmers National Bank. That's still there. Beaver Falls has some great architecture. If you look at some of these buildings, they're kind of neat. As I said, you know, the architecture in these early industrial towns were pretty much the same, but a lot of them were unique as well in their own way. You can't say that for the other towns in Beaver County, like, you know, the ones in Darlington or Hookstown, and I'm not picking on those towns. They just were agriculture towns. They weren't industrial towns. So the architecture, obviously, is much different. But you know that. Sadly, a lot of things here are defunct, you know. It doesn't have much to offer these days. But it's still a hustle and bustle part of Beaver County. There's still a lot of good businesses here that are left in Beaver Falls. And that's a good thing. And I, I just admire that library so much. Just look at that building. That's a work of art. It really is. The Geneva Library is nice. Or excuse me, the Carnegie Library.
my three favorite libraries in Beaver County are the BF Jones and El Equipa, the Carnegie here in Beaver Falls, and the uh, Lachlan Library of Ambridge. I don't know if I caught that on my Ambridge video. I don't think that I did. I don't think I took a shot of the Lachlan Memorial Library. I should have, but I didn't. Again, it's pretty hard to do all this in 15, 20 minutes. These towns have so much to offer, and there's so much unique history. And this here, this building right here, ladies and gentlemen, that used to be Kelly's Hardware. It's no longer there. That is a hardware store now, but it's not Kelly's. I forget what it's called. City Hardware, that's what it's called. Okay, I just read that. That was Kelly's. D&G Pizza is still here, for those of you folks who know what that is. Some of the best pizza in Beaver County. We're coming up on that right down the road here. I still uh, frequent D&G myself. It's really good pizza. It's like Breezy's and uh, Police Station Pizza of Ambridge. Actually, I think it's the same family. There's a subway here. And this is, of course, where the Happy Days car cruise is. This was on the main drag. And as, you know, there's some neat homes down here. The, the, the architecture is nice on these older homes. One of these belonged to a senator that lived here in Beaver County. I can't remember which one, but his home was right down here. At least somebody told me that. Don't know how true it is. Little Joe's, it's still there. That's a good place to eat. Yes, Eric, in the new sheets down here in Beaver Falls. It's been tore up for quite some time. Look at them Halloween decorations. That's pretty cool. And here's your little tour of Beaver Falls, ladies and gents. I don't know how much more I can show you. If you want me to do a, another part of this to this video, I can do that. Just leave a comment in the description. Like I said, check out my other links, my Pinterest page, my blog. I write a lot about some of the history of Beaver County. I have a lot of pictures, lots of pictures on my Pinterest site. You really need to check that out. Here's the Falston Bridge. Um, so let me know what you think. This, I appreciate all your comments. I appreciate your kindness. I even appreciate your criticisms. I appreciate all your advice. And most of all, I appreciate you watching my videos. Thank you so much. I've gotten so much great response from all you guys, and I love it. You motivate me to keep doing it. There's a good shot of the practice field. They're actually doing something there now. That's the practice field there in Geneva. So, anyways, let me know. Here's a pop Say goodnight. And thank you for watching, and I will see you again. We're done.